Hello, future scientists. Let's continue our lesson in Unit 6 Sound. We will discuss different types of sound effects. We know that we hear when sound enters our ear and we can identify different sources of sound and use them to make sound effects. These are the keywords for this lesson. Drip, meaning a small drop of a liquid, like the top won't stop dripping. Galloping, it means to proceed at great speed, like uh, the fastest pace of a horse. Rustling makes a soft, muffled, crackling sound, like that caused by the movement of dry leaves or paper, and even your clothes. And also don't forget to watch these useful videos that will help us understand more about our lesson. For our starter activity, let's do role play. Role playing is not only for fun activity. It is an effective way for children like you to make sense of the world around you. It is important part of your development as it builds confidence, creativity, communication, and problem solving. Now, can you do the actions of these objects such as someone hammering, a door creaking, and uh, bottles opening. Hmm, I can see some bubble thoughts floating. This activity allows you to be creative and to get into character and act out different situations just like this. What is sound word? Sound word means the word describes a sound, the imitation of a sound, like onomatopoeia are words that sound like the action they are describing. This include words like pop when you open a bottle, splosh it describes the water, shh to say quiet, okay, boom, and uh, zzz, zzz, like when you feel sleepy. Now listen carefully and recognize different sounds and where these sounds come from. What did you hear? All right, hands typing on keyboard. How about this one? What did you hear? All right, cat meowing. How about this one? Listen. Oh, what is that? What did you hear? That is the sound, okay, from a doorbell ring. How about this one? Yeah, from a piano playing. All right. You are all very good listeners. How about this? Okay, what did you hear? Okay, horse galloping. Okay, how about this one? Okay, that sound comes from a car horn. Okay, how about this one? Yeah, the rooster crowing or says and how about this one? All right, the motorcycle sounds. Now this time, let's hear if you can say the sound effects of these bird chips. Okay, car broom, horse galloping, leaves rustling, clock tick tock, bell rings. Now it's your turn. In this lesson, you will also make up your own story. And share this with others or groups in the class. Use your sound makers to make the sound effects. Your story could be based on children or about you, okay? Such as talking, walking, whispering, and uh, playing. Then you could ask also like, then we will ask the members of the class to comment on which sound effects they thought were very good or sounds realistic. Does it sound fun? <laughs> okay, so what have you learned about sound? In your learner's book page 136, sit quietly for 30 seconds. Use a sand timer. Listen to the sounds you can hear. When the sand timer stops, draw or write the sounds you can hear. Okay, you can, you can sort your list into two groups. Sounds that were loud means producing much noise or can harm your ears. Okay, and sounds that were fainter means not clear or becomes a quieter. Number two, this picture shows some sources of sound. Remember, sources of sound are things that make sounds. So what are these? Yes, you can see here the radio, 
cattle whistling. Yes, a parent and a child talking. Okay, they're saying good morning. And cat meow, meowing under the table. Now, complete your workbook, page 79, sound poem. Using these words and uh, write your own sound poem also. In this lesson, we were able to identify different sources of sound and use them to make sound effects. Now, challenge yourself. What sound can you make from footsteps? What other parts of your body you can make sounds? Can you make other sounds and do the action? Okay, thank you for listening. Future scientists, you all did great.